my dear friends i am sayadram from nivedita academy uh, let me discuss about the essential elements of the valid contract this topic comes under law especially civil law students of uh, clot examination should know much about this what are the essential elements for a valid contract for a, to make a contract there must be at least uh, two parties two or more parties at least two parties minimum two parties should be there in one party there may be more than one in another party also there may be more than one but there must be at least two parties and one party should propose should offer and another party is an offeree and uh, he should accept before that there uh, we should know there must be an intention for the proposer to create a legal relationship with the offeree he should be ready to suppose to he wants to sell a property he should on his own consent willing there must be an willingness for a proposer to sell his property the other party should also be ready he must have his own consent willingly he should be ready to buy the property these are two things are very very important buying and selling and uh, consent is offering and and uh, consenting these are two things are very important so there must be consensus is a in the latin term there are meeting of two minds both of them should be willingly come forward to sell and buy okay that way so the and then another one thing competency of the parties is very very important competency means a person who is selling the property the property should belongs should be owned by him and the party who is willing to buy the property should have the money sufficient money to buy the property he should be capable to have the having the finance having the fund to buy the property so these are the competencies a person who is willing to sell the property should have uh, open minded and he should not be below 18 years old he should not be a minor and uh, the party who is buying the property also uh, also should have a sound mind and he should have uh, attained the age of 18 and he should be above 18 years old he should be a major okay and apart from that there must be a legal lawful consideration once uh, a proposer is proposing and the other party is accepting in between there must be a legal consideration whether this suppose a part, part person is willing to sell the property for example and the person who is trying to buy the party buying the property should uh, first of all he should express yes i am interested to buy having all the legal considerations whether the party in the whether the property belongs to the person who is proposing whether the property worth that much whether it is worth it and uh, any other legal hurdles are there whether it is free from legal problems and all these things and a buyer will take forward to think it over to consider lawful consideration that is a lawful consideration that is something in return when your proposer proposing and the buyer that is a offerer that is a offeree also replies having considering all these things in mind legal consideration and there must be a lawful object lawful object means it the the buyer and the seller or the proposer and the proposee both want to they it should be legally correct lawful object there must be a lawful object lawful object means it should not be debarred by law suppose a person a person a is willing to 
uh, rent his house to be why he is giving it is beyond the law whether he is uh, getting the house for what for for rent for house or making a business or commercial space or commercial site these are allowed but a person wants to make a bomb explosives he is want to he wants to use that space for some other illegal activities so that is a, it is beyond a law this is a lawful that is a lawful object moreover the agreement that both are going to make should be should be neither void or nor voidable it should not be unlawful consideration okay and the legal formalities also should be followed once you make an agreement all the things what is the how much amount what thing what article uh, is going to buy going to be whether the document whether he has paid the fee documentation fee whether there are witnesses signed or not whether the document is registered these are all legal modalities formalities for a legal contract a person who is a propose yes he is proposing is a pro promiser and the person who he wants to he gets that promise uh, he is getting that information from the promiser you know he is a promisee and it should be properly implied or expressed properly and there must be legal consideration and that also expressed and it should be properly communicated to the offeree offer offerer should communicate properly and offeree also should communicate whether he wants to indulge in that kind of agreement or not all these things and uh, whether it's a specific or general all these things whether suppose he wants to buy a motorcycle what kind of motorcycle what so whether hero honda or uh, tvs uh, uh, that could be specifically it should be mentioned okay right and uh, suppose it should not be any uh, stand uh, standard offer standing offer or it should not be uh, invitation of offer like a quotation or catalog like that specifically should be mentioned in that agreement okay uh, it is a, there is a possi there is a possibility after a legal consideration if the offeree can reject his offer also reject the offer of the uh, promiser these are the essential elements of the valid contract thank you very much mm -hmm.